Hello and welcome to the BSI tutorial on consent. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a consent form. First, we navigate to the consent module and choose the consent form submodule on the side here. To create a new consent form, we press the new button. This will open the specify identification for definition dialog. We have to choose a study ID to be associated with our consent form and we have to enter a form. Once we're done with this, we press OK. This will open the consent form editor. In the consent form editor, we have two potential trees, the consent form tree and the verifiers tree. The consent form tree is where we add the individual fields for each form, and the verifiers tree is where we set up verifiers. To set up verifiers, we must first enter the consent form fields. To add a consent form field, we go up to the button at the top for add field and press it. This will add a new node to the tree and open up our field properties tab on the side and our value properties tab here. Field properties are where we fill in the general properties of the field, such as the field name. Once we fill in a field name, the name will automatically appear underneath the consent form here in the tree. We can also choose if this field is required. Then when we set the field type, a Boolean field will allow them to choose between true, yes, and false, no as their options. Entering false no in this field will tell BSI that the patient has not consented to a certain action. For this field, we're going to choose integer, since it is an age field. Choosing is active will have it appear on the patient consent form. This will automatically be checked. Now let's add a consent bearing field. Here we must enter the field name again. And this field is also required we choose Boolean. This will make the question field automatically required. The question field is where you can fill in the consent question that was asked of the user on the consent form. This question field will appear in the patient consent editor so that users can know which consent question was asked. Now we can add verifiers. A verifier lets you set up whether you want an error or a warning to appear if certain information is entered in the patient consent form. To add a verifier, we go up to the button at the top on the toolbar. It says Add Verifier. Once again, a name is required. And you can choose a severity, a warning, or an error. The message field here is the place where you can enter the message that will appear to users when the error or warning is generated. Now we have to set up our actual verifier. As you can see, a dialog as you can see, a panel very much like our search panel within as you can see, a panel very much like our standard search that we have within BSI. As you can see, a panel that is very much like our standard search dialog within BSI is here. The information that you enter here will generate an error warning if the conditions are met. Therefore, if we enter that age is less than 12 and add this to the criteria, if a user enters an age value of less than 12 in the consent editor, they will receive a warning. You can test how your verifier will work in the patient consent editor by pressing the test button. This will open a dialog where you can enter information as you would in the consent form. And as you can see, if we enter a value less than 12, the warning that we just entered appears. Once you're done creating your consent form, press save, and the consent form will appear in the manager and be available to be chosen when creating cons patient consent. Thank you for watching the tutorial on how to create a consent form. Please visit us at trybsi.com for more information.